It's very satisfying to transform a rooftop. Over the last five years, green roofer Amy Norquist has seen her business take root and flourish. It's much less labor intensive than a backyard. We've on average grown about 400% a year. We've added about 16 full-time jobs. And with that small green army, Amy wants to transform the Big Apple into the Garden of Eden. It's absolutely possible. Rooftops make up 10% of New York City's area. That's more than 20 central parks. Imagine what all of that greenery would look like up here on New York City's rooftops. That would be fantastic. A green roof is far more than a few planter boxes. Well, this is a salvia. It's like a sandwich of insulation, growing medium and hardy plants. People use this roof now and they don't just sit on that deck and they're not surrounded by radiating heat. And it's not just easy on the eye. Green roofs like this one promise to last long Longer, cut the building costs and control stormwater. And there's new science to prove it. I do believe the era of the dark asphalt roof is going to be phased out worldwide. Stuart Gaffin has been measuring the impact of green roofs on New York, including here at an upscale private boys' school. Some of the most beautiful green spaces you could have in New York. Concrete jungles like New York are 13 to 16 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than their surrounding areas. It's called the urban heat island effect. On a hot summer's day, New York's patchwork of old black rooftops sizzle at temperatures of up to 180 degrees. These roofs are staying 40, 50, 60 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. We're reversing the urban heat island effect roof by roof. But cities are hit with a double whammy. Now we realize this is the last thing we want as we get global climate change. Local warming meets global warming. Cooler roofs save energy on air conditioning, reducing the reliance on dirty power. And meanwhile, plants get busy doing what plants do best. In one year, one square meter of green rooftop could suck up the particulate matter emissions, including CO2, of one car driving 10,000 miles. Crazy great air quality benefit. It's long been realized this is a wasted resource. It's the first job I've ever had where I never regret going into work.